Well, how are you doing? We welcome you all to the hands-on and first impression video of the Windows 10 Mobile Build Build 14328. The Build 14328 is just one build newer than the last Build 14327, and for that reason, it does not bring any new changes and features. But we can expect it to bring fixes to numerous bugs and issues that we saw on the Build 14327. <clears throat> if you check our impressions video of the Build 14327, you can see that the build was fast and responsive but it had many issues and bugs so while microsoft has not provided any list of the bug fixes that the build 14328 brings but we can actually see how the build behaves in real life in this hands-on so <clears throat> last we saw that on 14327 uh, the microsoft is used to crash a lot so we will start checking it We can open more sites. So till now we could see that I mean the uh, Microsoft days has not crashed on this in this build actually. So on build 14327 it, it was a big issue that it used to crash a lot. Let's send it back to background and then we will check uh, it again. So now we can open some of the apps actually, other apps like store. Cortana. We can open maps. So in the meantime, we can also check how the UI navigation looks like. So, I mean, uh, if, if we talk about our, the first impression of the build, then again, it seems to be more stable than the build 14327. We have not encountered any crashes or uh, screen freezing or anything getting stuck it. But I mean, we have to, because these are like very early impressions. So we will have to again see, I mean, we have to review and then we can come back if we see any bugs or issues. But for now, it, it's quite good actually. So let's check the multitasking as well. Let's see anything there. Okay. Even multitasking looks to be quite responsive here.
So there we are. Actually, we can see that on our Lumia 640 XL, the build is behaving quite okayish. At least there are no issues or crashes, etc. So we, we have to say that, I mean, uh, as compared to build 14327, the build looks a bit more stable. And since it's the first impression that we are sharing with you, the multitasking, we saw that uh, build is responsive. It responds properly quite well, actually. <coughs> Things are, apps are not crashing, actually. So that's a very good thing. Let's quickly check it on uh, Lumia 550. So it's so far so good, no crashes. Sites are loading fine. Let's send it to background. Let's open the camera. Camera is fast actually. Let's again send it to background, make a check Cortana here. We can also open maps. So that we get a fair idea of whether the multitasking is good on a Lumia 550 with the build. So let's check the multitasking once again on a Lumia 550 this time. Impressive. Quite good. Let's see how H we have. Even H resume seems to be quite good. So, so far what you may have noticed just like us is that uh, there seems to be no crashes yet or any that kind of behavior. But somehow we felt that the scrolling. No, okay, it's okay. We will quickly check check for a visual bug that we had shared whether Microsoft has fixed that or not. So if we go to accounts, sign in options. Okay, so Microsoft did not fix this bug. It seems there are two pin. So you can see I made this repeated system setting the module. So this bug still remains. Microsoft may take care of that in any other build or next build. But uh, if we, we compare to build 14327, it certainly shows lots of improvement. For us, the other things like the data, Wi-Fi, etc. was obviously working in even build 14327, so it's working here as well. So this is how the build behaves and <clears throat> the UI navigation and multitasking works on these two devices, which are running build 14328. So hope you have liked this video, stay tuned for more, keep watching, thanks.